For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Notice a couple of things here. This child theme is very important in the book of Isaiah. You see it in chapter 7 with uh, the Manuel promise. Over in chapter 11, another great passage for you to read during Christmas. There's a picture of a new heaven and new earth in which kids can play in safety. It's a picture of peace and joy. And here is the promise of a child. And again, you've got to put it in context. <clears throat> What's God's answer to Assyria? They're bullies. It's not to send a bigger bully. It's to send a baby. God's answer to our greatest problem is in a baby. It's in a child. This child is born. This says something about Jesus' humanity, doesn't it? He was a baby. He was vulnerable. He was small. He's fully human. Paul emphasizes he was born of woman. He did the kind of things that babies do. Right? I always chuckle when we sing that song at Christmas every year, No Crying He Makes. I've never seen a baby like that. Right? <laughs> he didn't have a halo around his head. He was, he was a baby. He was born. But we see something of his deity, I think, too, that this child is, is given. This son is given. A divine son is being given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. But before the government, before this kingdom can be on his shoulder, he must take the cross on his shoulders. He will reign as king via a cross. But one day the government will be upon his shoulder. And we also see grace in this text, further in this very idea that this son is given to us. We don't deserve Jesus. We don't deserve this child, but he's been given for us. This, my friends, is the ultimate gift.